It may look like big piles of dirt, but what I'm actually standing in front of is piles of snow here at the city of Regina's snow storage facility. And with big piles like this comes a lot of garbage. Concrete, bits of concrete that might get picked up, uh, garbage that people might have left on the roadways, um, bits of asphalt, things that, anything that someone might have put on the street. But these piles don't just contain the garbage that you can see. In fact, research has shown that tiny pollutant particles can be found in snow, too. Research from McGill University shows that snow acts as a superabsorbent. It can trap everything from particles of exhaust from vehicles to tiny pieces of metal to chemicals and organic compounds that are toxic to humans and our environment. And as these pollutants sit in the snow, they can change and create more pollutants, which can be just as harmful. But it's when the snow melts, like right now at the snow storage facility, that the pollutants are released, and that can really pose problems. The pollutants either go through, um, follow the runoff into the oceans or Great Lakes, for instance. It could evaporate into the atmosphere, or it could percolate and completely pollute the groundwater. In fact, other studies have shown that the oil sands have contaminated meltwater from snow. And even mercury has been found in samples of snow and ice in the Arctic. So your backyard may be hiding more than just old chip bags and face masks, but researchers say not to panic. Not all of the pollutants are harmful, and more studies are needed to find the correlation between the snow, pollution, and the impact on the environment. But researchers I spoke to say one thing is clear. More policies around air pollution and waste reduction will likely result in cleaner snow. Ethan Williams, CBC News, Regina.